the part 3 of the VOR navigation, I'm going to show you how to fly a specific radio from the VOR. In this case, it's going to be a radio of 068 from the Seal Beach VOR. You have to remember, we are only using VORs for these lessons. We cannot use any DMEs, ADFs, or GPS. We're going to start off where we left off at the last lesson. We're flying down to the Seal Beach VOR on a 165 heading. And as we overfly the VOR, when the triangle flips and the needle centers, we'll immediately start a left turn. Now since we have overflown the VOR, we're going to turn past the heading of 068 and we're going to turn 30 degrees more to a heading of 035 back to intercept the radial 068 from the Seal Beach VOR. Okay, so we are flying down on a heading of 165 to the Seal Beach VOR. We're going to look at the triangle. The triangle just flipped, needle centered, so we're going to immediately turn to the left to a heading of 035. As we're turning on our VOR1 heading bug, we're going to put a heading of 068. As we turn past heading of 068 to the heading of 035, we can see that the VOR needle is all the way to the left, so we're just going back to intercept the radial of 068 from the Seal Beach VOR. Because we are so close to the VOR, the needle will move fast, so we have to be on our toes. As soon as the needle starts to come in, we're going to immediately turn to a heading of 068 to intercept a radial of 068 from the Seal Beach VOR. One very important thing to remember is that as we're flying the radial away from the VOR, the load triangle on the VOR gauge should be pointing down or from the VOR. As before, once we are established in a radial of 068 from the Seal Beach VOR, we're going to maintain this heading for a while, and as we maintain this heading for a while, we'll adjust for the wind accordingly. One of the reasons we have to overfly the VOR and then turn back around and intercept it is because if we're using only VORs to navigate, there's no way for us to tell when we're exactly over the VOR until we actually overfly it and the triangle flips and the needle centers. Now there is a way to tell where you are using a VOR, that is the VOR triangulation. This is the best part and it's the most fun, so just please stand by and I'll have it up in a day or two. Thank you.